Hello, my name is Mike Walton. I'm, I'm one of the shoulder surgeons that works at the Manchester Arm Clinic. The goal of all of our operations is to return you back to your activities of daily living, sports and hobbies as soon as practically possible. That will be very much guided by the type of surgery that you have. Each operation and each patient is, in, is an individual. And although we can give you broad guidance as to how fast you can return, each case is an individual one and will vary between patients. At the Manchester Arm Clinic, uh, we strive to do this as quickly as possible, but we must also remember to do it as safely as possible. You will have a period of time in, your, in a sling, and that will depend upon your operation. If you've had a reconstruction, there will, we need to respect your soft tissues and allow them to heal, and therefore there will be a period of immobilisation. If you've just had an operation which doesn't have a repair or reconstruction, such as a subacromial decompression, your, your rehabilitation will be very much guided by your pain. Through this process, we ask you to listen to your shoulder. If an activity feels pain-free, then the chances are it's doing you no harm. If you are for thinking about stretching your shoulder, particularly if you've had a repair, then we must be careful to limit this range of motion to what feels comfortable, and particularly within your safe zones. One of the most uh, frequently asked questions is about when we can return to driving. The first rule is that after an operation, you shouldn't drive for at least 48 hours after your anaesthetic. You may well have stronger painkillers, and these can limit your awareness and your reaction time during driving. And if you feel drowsy, then again, you shouldn't drive during this period. Within the UK, it's a legal requirement that you should be able to use a, um, your both arms to operate the wheel at all moments. Therefore, if you're in a, the period of your immobilization in a sling, you shouldn't drive either. You will then start to wean yourself off the sling. And the aspect here is to maintain that you are safe and in control of your vehicle at all times. We always recommend going to a car park and practicing your maneuvers before considering returning to the road. As this is a short period of time, you don't, you're not required to inform the DVLA of your um, operation, but you should notify your insurance company as policies may vary. Always think to yourself, could I avoid an accident and react to an unexpected scenario on the road? If the answer is no, you should be questioning whether or not you're driving at this stage. If you can be uh, practical and effective at work using one arm, then you can return to work in your sling and will be able to do so as soon as your comfort allows. This can sometimes be as quick as a few days. Normally, however, most people wait until they've weaned themselves out of their sling usually within two to three, three weeks following their operation for a non-manual job. Again, it's very important during this period to remember to listen to your shoulder and only do activities which are comfortable um, as instructed by your physiotherapist. If you are returning to more manual work, then the re return to work can be slower if you've had a repair. Again, we must respect the soft tissues and allow them to heal. You shouldn't be doing any heavy lifting until you're instructed that it's safe to do so by your physiotherapist or surgeon. One piece of advice which is usually useful is if your um, occupation requires significant amounts of lifting, you should discuss this with your employer before your operation and consider returning um, earlier to light duties or have a balanced and phased return to work. Again, don't do anything which is likely to um, strain your repair during the first period, initial period. Returning to sport is very much like returning to work. The most important thing is maintaining your cardiovascular fitness and avoiding deconditioning through the rehabilitation phase. Remember, the rest of your body isn't injured. With the advice of your physiotherapist and surgeon, you can return to cardiovascular training um, very early on in your rehabilitation, as soon as the wounds are clean and dry. There are many exercises that you can do whilst your arm is in a sling, and keeping this fitness will enable your eventual return to sport to be uh, more effective and quicker after the immobilisation period. The final decision for return to sport will depend upon your chosen sport and the activities and requirements of it. The, the, remember that return to sport is not just about being able to play, but being able to avoid further injuries. The control of your movement is better than the quantity.